Hello friends, welcome to Saral Gyan. In today's video, I am going to tell you about parking a file in eOffice application. At the end of the video, I will also share a useful tip in which you can sort your files in an easy way rather than using parking. So don't forget to watch it till the very end. Hello friends, welcome to Saral Gyan. In this video, I am going to tell you about parking the file in eOffice application. As you all know that in our department, one of the officers is a custodian of a file. It can be an inspector, a TA or a superintendent too. So the custodian of a file has hundreds of files with him. And eventually all the files will be opened and transferred to eOffice application. So after all the action in a file is completed, it will be returned back to the custodian of the file. Let's say it is an inspector who is a custodian of the file. So the inspector would have hundreds of files in his inbox. And it is sometimes very difficult to sort and search through those hundreds of files in the inbox. So there is an option of parking a file. By parking a file we mean that we can park a certain file from our inbox into our parking directory. And it would be available on the due date. Parking is important for those files which are used only once in a month. For example, the file of monthly reports or there are quarterly reports which are needed once in a quarter. So you can park such kind of files. And to park your file, you have to click on the file and then click on more and then click on park file. And here you will have to set a parking due date. Let's set it as 15th and then you can parking remarks needed on 15 and then you can click on ok so what would happen the file will be removed from your inbox the file number was 2541 and it is no longer here and instead it will move to the park folder this by default only show the files which are due on today's date so let's say all and click on search so now I have this file 2541 which is uh, parking due date is 15 September 2020 and another file 2992 parking due date is 11th of September. If you think how will you get the notification you also get the notification of your park file due date here. For example I have got a notification that one of the file is due and I will click on it and here you can see that that my file is due and I can simply click on this and then click on unpack. It will ask for the remarks again. I will say file needed and click on OK. You can also unpack a file before its due date. You just have to click on all here and click on search and then you can click on the file and unpack it. You can also edit the due date of a parked file by clicking here and instead of 15th of September let's make it 23rd of September and click on OK so now you can see uh, okay I will have to click on all and click on search so now you can see that it is due on 23rd of September you can also unpack a file before the due date and for that you have to select the file and click on unpack and then give the remark file needed and then click on OK and the file would be unpacked and it will move back to inbox 2541. Also a file if parked won't get unpacked on its own. You have to go into the park folder even on the due date or after the due date and then click on the file and unpack it. You can also see the parking history of a file. Click on 2541, click on the file number and we can say park file history. And here you can see that you can get the park file history of a file from here. If you are not sure about your park file, you can also do the search. For example, if I go to my park files and select all and then click on search. So I have a file number 699 and its subject is eOffice correspondence file and it is in my parking history. Now if I go back to my inbox. And if I do the journal search from this panel, it won't show me anything. But if I go to advanced search, 
and if I click on file and computer number I write down 699 and search for it so here you can see that you have got the details of the file and it is showing the location of the file as park and you can either go to your park file or you can make this file active from here also so I will click on make active and click on ok and file needed and click on ok again and if now I go to back to my inbox so now 699 file has come back to my inbox because I have unparked it from the advanced search menu you must be aware that the park file will only be shown in the advanced search menu and not in the simple search menu so this is how you can park your file or unpark your file but some people don't like parking a file because it involves too many steps so in order to make your inbox arranged and well organized you can do another thing and what you can do is you can select certain files for example just assume that these two files are monthly reports so I will select these files and choose move to and create a new folder and then I will say monthly reports and then I will choose it as a file inbox and click on save and then I will have to refresh my inbox so I will come back to files and here you can see that now my inbox has only got five files and my monthly report files have gone into this monthly report folder I like this method way better because it keeps my inbox organized and this was a tip which I wanted to share with you and once you have created a folder you can move the other files to it by just clicking and move to my folders and in my folder you will get a monthly reports folder this way you can create as many folders as you want and they will remain in, the, in your inbox but your inbox would have lesser number of files and it would look neat so this is it for this video if you have enjoyed the video please hit the thumbs up and if you want to be notified about the future videos please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon thank you for watching bye bye